What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel, Combo Community. It's your boy, the one and only. Today's video, we're going to be doing an uh, epic mail call. I got a collection of amazing Spider Man ASM that I want to show off to you guys. We got one of my grails came in this collection. Very excited to pick it up. A couple of uh, packages from my comic shop unknown comics was doing a little bit of a sale i got a couple of books from a local shop and then with the asm i also picked up a couple of extra of these uh variants and other keys that i thought would be cool to show off for you guys definitely happy to pick up each and every single one of these books so we're gonna just go ahead and start it off here with an instagram buy uh, shout out to condemned kitten over on instagram doing a little bit of a uh, claim sale with Collect the Kyle. So two really, really cool people. Check them out on Instagram. Kyle himself also lives in Hawaii. So shout out to the brother. Thank you so much for hooking me up with a lot of books over the last few months that we've gotten to know each other. So first up, really was looking for this one. I'm glad that I got a copy of it. The Stephanie Hines Star Wars High Republic issue number one variant already in that Mylar. Very happy about that book. Thank you to condemn kittens for that and then also bought two other books from her this is the stormbreakers variant the Juan cabal captain marvel variant there and then i also was able to snag justice league issue 50 new 52 this is the first mention of the three jokers so this book is climbing a little bit in price due to the uh three jokers storyline not too long ago last year so shout out to uh, Condemned Kittens once again. Follow her on Instagram. Does amazing claim sales for a lot of books. And she hooked me up with a bunch of filler books as well that uh, just happened. She happened to throw in there for, for picking up those books. So be on the lookout for that. So we're going to move over to Unknown Comics. Now they were doing a uh, pretty much like a moving sale. So a lot of their books were buy three, get one three. Uh, buy three, get three free. So we picked up Rorschach number one. I thought uh, Volt Turley. I thought th this is an amazing variant cover. Love my Watchmen. We got X Factor issue number four, the trade vet, trade dress variant here with Polaris. Beautiful book. Fantastic Four, or yeah, Fantastic Four issue one. The the current ongoing. This is just a throwback to the FF. This is uh, probably my favorite Spider-Man costume when he joined the team in Johnny Storm's absence when he died. Moving over to Amazing Spider-Man, we have issue one. This is the Philip Tan variant featuring a black cat. Uh, love some Felicia Hardy. And speaking of Felicia Hardy, more black cat goodness. This is the In Hyok Lee issue number three variant from a volume two series. And then I thought this one uh, was pretty unique because I only ordered one, but they sent two of these. Black Cat Issue 1 variants here. Very cool. Only ordered one. There was two in the order. Unknown Comics. Maybe they hooked me up. Maybe they didn't. Nevertheless, I got two copies of it. Now we got some... Uh, some back issue fillers from my comic shop some of these books were on my want list and they got them back in stock so it was like hey let's go ahead and order them now before somebody else snatches them up so of course jenny frizzin love we got some lois lane issue one the b the b cover there love that cover then we picked up uh, We Live. This was this is a pretty hot book right now. We Live. They had issue number one back in stock. This is the first printing. And they also had issue number two. So we didn't pick that up. Now we have all five issues and I can read the story from, from the beginning now. So that's awesome. Uh, more Jenny Frizz in Love. Look at this. I didn't pick this up in the store because I, I, I didn't see it. And I also didn't know that she did this variant cover for Thor issue number nine here. Once again, Jenny Frizen action, amazing. I missed this one, the next book here, in stores as well, so I had to go ahead and order it online. Deadpool issue number 10. High, sitting high on the throne. Next up, can't believe I missed this one either. One of my favorite artists ever, Dustin Wynn. The Teen Titans, the cardstock variant. Future state number one. 
had to pick it up paid a little bit of a premium for it you know it should have been covered price we paid eight bucks for it happy to pay eight bucks for it though because it's my boy dustin win uh this one was just a run filler it's a five issue limited series age of belief or age of conan belief this is issue number five apparently i didn't have the fifth issue i'm looking for the jenny frizen variant uh, of that book all right back to our actual normal song <laughs> And then finally, to finish it off, X-Men issue number one, the trade vest dress variant. J. Scott, uh, excuse me, excuse me. This is Art Germ, J. Scott Campbell. We got some J. Scott goodness coming up, though. Art Germ, Gene Gray. Love it. Love it. It's good stuff. Now, this one was a short little quick buy from the comic store. One of the comic shops here on island today in Oahu. Shout out to Other Realms. We picked up issue number 11 something is killing children who else none other than jenny frizen once again god can't get enough of jenny frizen's artwork it's just so good quick little fillers here issue 79 ultimate spider-man this is the first appearance of mark specter moon knight in the ultimate universe then we picked up a reprint of issue 19 for walking dead this is the first appearance of michonne but this was like done for the 15th anniversary of walking dead in 2018 j scott campbell variant there thought that was pretty cool all right so that was a quick buy like i said only a couple books from the store trying to kill time before picking up this amazing spider-man collection not only did we get these spider-man books we also picked up a few other things that he was trying to sell and he hooked us up with a great, great deal in a lot of these books. So first up, we have uh, nothing special here. This is just the Action Comics issue 813. But what's special about this book is that it is signed by none other than Michael Turner himself. Rest in peace, sir. Michael Turner, one of the best to ever do it. Book has a few spine ticks, but none of them are color breaking. So uh, I'm not sure if it's something that you can press when there's a signature in place, but you know, something that we can look at. I'm just happy to have the man's signature on a book. Moving along, like I said, J. Scott Campbell, goodness, signed by the man himself. This is Harley Quinn, villain of the year variant, the solo variant. Apparently, a couple of the other variants have a couple other characters on the book as well. Then we have, check this out. Star Wars 81. Look at that. In the Mylar, Boba Fett story. Great condition book there. These are really fun. I'm really glad to have these. Power Man and Iron Fist. Issue 66. This is the second ever appearance of Sabretooth and not to be outdone is the third ever appearance in issue 78 unfortunately he didn't have the first appearance but that would have been a, a hefty priced book so I got this one thrown in for free really really appreciate that Batman 619 haven't owned this first Thomas Elliot as Hush and Jim Lee on the on the artwork there Psh, can't beat it Here's a great little series that uh, I didn't have. I finally have all volumes of Black Widow now. Marvel Knights, 1999, the variant. Look at that, beautiful. Then we have issue two. And we also have <laughs> issue three. I thought I was already behind it. One, two, and three for that limited series there. Moving along picked up another copy he, he kind of threw this one in too this is the second print catwoman 23 sean murphy goodness one of my favorite artists as well him and dustin win killing it this is a fun title been getting a lot of spec lately check this out community gi joe number one real american hero not newsstand but hey we'll take it we'll take it never owned it before these are fun um also comes into play with our grail but this is issue 56 peach momoko trade dress variants 
Amazing Spider-Man 56, the current volume going right now. Very beautiful book. Legacy 857. Glad to have that in the collection. Speaking of Spider-Gwen, the first volume of Spider-Gwen. This is issue number two, the Sarah Pacelli variant. Beautiful book. Glad to add that. I'm a variant fiend. Love me some variants. Speaking of variants, we had to get another one. Picked up a second Stephanie Hans Star Wars High Republic number one variants. Took so long to find one, and I got another one back to back. And to finish off the uh, side variants that we picked up, Mighty Thor issue four, Michael Cho. Beautiful variant cover there of Jane Foster. All right, hey, the main event here. This is what you guys came to see. I'm going to go rapid fire with these. Um, there's only really a couple of keys that you guys might recognize in, in this run here. But essentially, he came to me and said, hey, uh, there's a big run of books that I just got between 104 and 160. You guys can take a guess of what's in between 104 and 160 of Volume 1 of Amazing Spider-Man. Unfortunately, and I don't blame him. He did have the 129 first appearance of Frank Castle as the Punisher. However, he's going to hold on to it. The book looked like it was a 7.5 right off the bat with a nice little press and clean. I'm sure we can he can bump it up to a 8, 8.5. Who knows? Sky's the limit. The book looked very clean. Really excited for him to get it graded. So without further ado, let's check out these books. Issue 100 anniversary there. Then we jump all the way to 118, 123, 124, 127. Look at these covers. These books are, are all about mid grade. I think uh, one of them, issue 160, is the only one that looks like it got. Some kid like took it and scraped it along the sidewalk or something. That's the only one that's really, really beat up. Some of the annuals in the back are kind of about like four at, at lowest, but a lot of these sit around the six to about the seven five range, which I'm really, really excited about. Issue 130, because a lot of these can just be uh, pressed and cleaned a little bit and be good to go. 131, 132. 134 136 and of course there's 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 sporadic ones missing between you know 104 or rather 100 to 160 but a lot of these are here though 138 look at these covers guys the colors just pop 139 day of the grizzly all right let's take these out here now take it out of this box here handle these a little better for you guys if you guys enjoying that mail call hopefully we can do these a little bit more often if you haven't already slap that like that subscribe I appreciate it guys issue 140 141 142 Mysterio Mysterio means business madness Mysterio means madness that's what it stands for 143 i actually already have a copy of this this is my second copy 143 144 it's you 145 with scorpion 146 147 148 Classic cover. 149. Issue 150. Anniversary issue there. We got 151. Love this cover. Look at that cover, guys. Spine's beat up on this one, though. Okay, this one's maybe like about that 4, 4, 4, four, four 5. 152. 153. Getting close to the end now. 155. And so happy to have these books. 
156 157 158 <laughs> getting choked out Spidey get choked out 159 25 cents and uh, 160 this is the beat up one you guys can't see it, but like somebody definitely scraped this against the sidewalk. <laughs> All right, we got some king size annuals. These are pretty fun. So this is number 10. Then we have a uh, giant size superheroes featuring Spider-Man. This one's pretty cool. You don't see that too often. King size annual issue number nine. Very fun book here. Look at that. Check that out beautiful book but check this out i don't know if you guys can see that yeah you gotta get it off of my face i guess you can't see it but there's basically only the top portion portion here has a spine the rest of this is just like bludgeon the death it's gone it's non-existent and then giant size spider-man guest starting the human torch issue six all its glory but last but not least one of my personal grails because Gwen Stacy is one of my favorite characters 121 the death of Gwen Stacy first time ever having this in the collection so happy to have this book I can't describe in words what it means to own this uh, just getting the call to be like, hey, you bought some amazing Spider-Man from me before. I wanted to reach out to you first before I put it up for anyone else to grab. So, so happy that I was the first person contacted for these books. I think between uh, Volume 1, Volume 2, uh, 3 and 4 with ASM, uh, Web of Spider-Man, Spectacular uh, Spider-Man, I think I have about getting close to 50% of the entire runs of all those books. I just want to be able to fill out Spider-Man. That's the only thing I really care about. Uh, maybe after that, it'll be X-Men. But those are the really only two that I want to make sure I have intact as much as possible. So we're going to always be on the lookout for ASM. If you guys know anyone selling any ASM at any given time, let me know. I'll be happy to take a look at them. My earliest copy of Amazing Spider-Man is number 19. It'd be nice to uh, whittle that down into the into the one to, uh, one to ten we'll see if we can ever make that happen but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video that was the asm pool um some mail call unknown comics shout out the condemned kitten again for the the epic epic claim sale on instagram so be sure if you guys are checking out comic books on instagram give her a follow condemned kittens uh, unknown comics like i said already my comic book shop my comic shop <laughs> Uh, and I think that's going to do it here. That was that was pretty good mail call. So we're going to make sure to try to do more of those videos in the future. If you guys liked it, please be sure to drop a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see. And uh, make sure to check out each and every Wednesday the pull list for Comic Talk. We're going to go over our books that we pull uh, in my pull list. And then uh, the new series that's uh, supposed to start really soon. Uh, <laughs> Just, just keep me humble with that, with the uh, Raw Books Inside series. So until next time, remember to always bag and board them.